welcome to Surface. My name's Laura, this is my model G. Today I'm going to do one of our five core haircuts that Surface has to offer. We're going to be doing the crop haircut, which is a short layered haircut. Surface gives us a roadmap to go off of. They have different zones of the head. The green zone is the top of the head. This is the black zone. The blue zone, which is the back of the head. And the red zone, which is on the side where you want to be more careful because hair does tend to be more thin there. But first I'm going to put on Awaken Mist, which is going to be a thickening spray. It's going to be my cutting tool, but then it'll help create volume when we blow dry her. So to find the black zone, you want to lay a cone flat on their head. Go ahead and section that off. And then you want to take another comb and where those two combs meet, that's the bottom of the black zone. And we're going to section off the rest of the hair. Okay, we're going to start in the black zone. We're going to use our surface razor. You want to take your section, but you don't want your section to be any wider than your razor. So we want to find the desired length. Take and lay your razor blade under there, and then you just want to shatter. So you want to grab your next section. There's your guide. Go bevel underneath and just shatter that off again. There's our guide. Shatter again. Then we're going to connect the sides into it and just blend in those two sides. And then we'll take and shatter that and blend it into the side. Now you want to take about a half an inch from your black zone. And you want to comb it forward into your green zone. Now since I'm right-handed, I'm going to start on the left side of Jean's head. So we want to take, find your guide from the black zone. As you can see, there's our guide. So we just want to go underneath and just bring that forward. And then I'm going to continue to do that across to the other side of her head. Now that we've connected the black zone into the green zone, we're going to take and connect that down into the red zone. So you want to take a half inch from your green zone, drop it down. Then you want to notice again that you have your palm facing you. You want to find your guide. Go ahead, go in and shatter that down. We do want this to be a little closer, tighter in at the bottom, so we're going to go ahead and curve down. Go ahead and find your guide again. And continue that towards the front of her head. We are leaving a little bit of length at the bottom and around the face that we will come back and detail more at the end. So we've connected that side, so now we want to take and bring down to connect the other side. So again, you want to find, bring down a half inch from your red zone, or from your green zone into your red zone. Once again, you want to have your palm facing you. Find your guide, there's our guide. So we want to take and we want to shatter down, curving down, to bring you just a little bit tighter towards her head. And we're going to do that all the way forward to finish out this last red zone. So we have the red zone and the green zone and the black zone all connected. Now we're going to go into the blue zone. So you want to go ahead and find part of your black zone again for your guide. 
we're going to go ahead and section everything off that we're not going to be cutting and push it forward out of the way. So go in once again, find your guide. You want your palm facing you again. And then we're going to go down and we're going to shatter, angling down towards the bottom of her head. Find your guide. Shatter on down towards the bottom. Continue to connect the black zone to the blue zone. Back on the other side of black zone. Find our guide, palm facing us, and then go ahead and shatter down following the curve of her head. We have connected the black zone down to the blue zone. She does have some nice fringe down here, but we are going to go ahead and take some of that length off. And you want to remember, you always want to cut in the direction that your hair is going to go. So on her left side, we're going to cut to the left, and on the right side, we're going to go and swing and cut to the right. So we're just going to go grab our razor, hold it like a pencil, And then we're going to go just, just to the left and shatter some of that length. And again on the other side, once again going in the direction that your hair is going to go. Now we're going to go on the sides and on her fringe and do a little bit more detailing, maybe bring up a little bit more length. Still using our razor. Once again, holding the razor like a pencil, we're going to go in and just shatter a little bit of this length off and go through and texturize in and around the sides of her head. Same thing on the other side. Holding the razor like a pencil. Go in and shatter some of this length. Just gonna texturize on the side. We're gonna part off a fringe. surface clips to clip the, to clip the sides back. So we're going to go in along her fringe on the sides. Once again, we're going to hold our razor like a pencil. And we're going to go in and just shatter that down. And we'll go in on the other side. Hold 
holding it like a pencil and just shattering that away. Now we do want to do a little more detailing on the top of her head. We're going to go through and find the black zone. Once again, you hold your two cones, find the bottom of the black zone. And then the top of the black zone. We're going to do a weaving technique a razor. It's almost like you're going to be highlighting. So you just take your razor in and out and then we're just going to shatter up. That's going to help create some fullness in the next section. Remember don't have your section be any wider than your razor. So we're going to go through, weave, drop out, and shatter that away. So here we're going to go through and we're going to spray jump mousse throughout the top of her hair to help her give some lift. And I also do like to sometimes put just a little bit of the awaken mousse to help give the guests the fullness that they're looking for. I'm gonna start the blow dry process. I am gonna use my round brush to TK2 brush um, to help give her some bend and some lift throughout the top of her. Okay. We have Jean all blow dried. I am gonna go through with my five inch swivel shear. And I am gonna do just a little bit more dry detailing here around her front fringe. So I'm just gonna go in with the swivel called walk the shear and I'm just gonna take and we're just gonna walk our shear. You just wanna barely open it. Open it and close it just to detail out that front. Then we'll go through and do the same on the other side. I'm just going to go in and walk the shear. We're going to go in with texture paste and we're going to do some detailing to style her out. We want to rub it really good into our hands. Okay, and we've completed the crop haircut, one of Surface's five core haircuts. It's very easy. Surface lays out a roadmap for us with the different sections of the head. Remember that Surface is high-performance, salon-exclusive hair and skin care that totally respects personal health and the earth.